Hi everyone, it's July, it's hot, it's the dog days of summer. A lot of gardeners think it's time to stop planting in July. Not so. Today I'm going to share with you six crops that you can plant now in July and August so that you have lots to harvest in the late summer and even into the fall. Now sometimes here in the midsummer, your crops get really beat up by the heat, by pests, by disease. It's a whole lot easier to start over with fresh new plants so you have more harvest coming in. Let's get started. The key to planting in July and August is to plant crops that are easy to grow, quick to mature, that go from seed to harvest in about six to eight weeks so you get a harvest in before the weather turns cool. Now you have a couple different options here. You can either start your crops from seed in six packs or flats, just put them right outside where they will grow in the warm summer, or you can plant seeds right in your garden bed. But right now I have some holes that I'm gonna fill in in my little shorty up here. We're gonna plant the first crop and that is cucumbers. I started some Space Master cucumber seeds just a couple of weeks ago. They're ready to plant. Got my own transplants here ready to pop in this little shorty three foot fabric raised bed. Now cucumbers love the warm weather so they grow really fast this time of the year. And I'm going to pop them here at the base of this cucumber plant. It's kind of gotten beat up by the heat. We've been harvesting a ton off it but I don't know how much longer it'll last. So I'll pop a new transplant in. We'll have a fresh new wave ready to take its place as soon as the old one is ready to pull out. I just dug a little hole here. I'm going to add some organic granular fertilizer to the hole. Just a little sprinkle, maybe a tablespoon or so. Kind of mix it around in there. And these transplants look so fresh and so new. And they're going to do beautifully. Wow, look at the roots on this plant. And Space Master Cucumbers are in my late summer garden seed collection, a seed collection I especially designed to plant this time of the year, easy to grow, quick maturing crops. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. So I'm just popping the transplant right in the hole, covering up with some mulch, and we're good to go. Now, if you don't want to go to the trouble of starting transplants, you can also plant cucumber seeds directly in your garden beds, either in an empty spot or right here again, I'm going to plant a couple of seeds right at the base here, right by my trellis. So they're ready to sprout as soon as I pull this old plant out and then it kind of spreads out the harvest of the cucumbers throughout late August and into September. Just pop the seed in, poke it down, cover it up. That's it, super easy. The second crop to plant now in July and August while the weather is warm are greens, not lettuce, Lettuce likes the cool weather, but heat tolerant greens like kale, several different kinds of kale right here, New Zealand spinach, which absolutely loves the heat, and some chard. This is a beautiful red chard variety. So go back and watch our recent video we did on how to plant a salad station of heat tolerant greens for how to get this all planted up. And these are all in my heat tolerant green seed collection, which by the way, this weekend, everything on my website is 25% off with the code MAC, hi MAC, and you also get a free bean seed and a Mac sticker with your purchase. So grow yourself some greens and enjoy your summer salads during July and August. The third easy to grow, quick maturing veggie to plant now in July and August is squash. You can plant zucchini, bush squash, uh, even the yellow crookneck squash. I wouldn't necessarily do winter squash because that takes a long time to grow from seed to harvest. But here we're going to pop some in a container because my garden beds are full. So this is a 15 gallon Smart Pots and I love the tan color. It blends in really nicely to the garden. It's the perfect size for some squash. Now this is the um, scalloped bush squash variety. Sometimes it tends to be a little bit smaller than the zucchini. So we're going to plant a transplant. These were started about two weeks ago right in the Smart Pots. And the nice thing is they'll kind of trail over the edge of the container of the wall here and, and make a really pretty um, statement in the garden in the late summer. Now this container is filled with some soil that's reused from a previous planting. Added some organic granular fertilizer, a couple of inches of fresh potting mix to give some new nutrients to the uh, container here. So I just dug a hole pop the squash transplant in and you'll notice there's a couple of transplants here and we'll just let them grow like that and then thin it, thin it out to the strongest transplant once they get established and start to grow. Now I am going to also plant some seeds here to kind of spread the harvest out. Again these are from my late summer garden seed collection. This is a green scallop summer squash which is absolutely lovely. It's so beautiful. 
and these are the most delicious squash. We love them sliced up on the grill. They are super, super yummy. So the transplant will be ready to harvest in about probably four weeks or so. The seeds, probably in about six to eight weeks. And we're gonna water everything in at the end of the video. So we're just popping a few seeds in here, about a foot or so apart. Let's put one in the middle, just for good measure. Oh, I can't wait to taste this scallop squash. It's so delicious. Now squash does tend to get really beat up by powdery mildew. So that's one reason why it's very important to get a fresh new wave of squash going now. So when your current plants are dying out, you've got a fresh new one to take its place. Number four crop is tomatoes. Now you might think it's too late to start tomatoes right now in July or August. You gotta start the right ones. You wanna start a dwarf tomato. This is my favorite Tiny Tim. It only grows to about two feet tall. And this one actually is getting a little bit beat up too. It got attacked by a tomato hornworm, some spider mites. So it's definitely time to get a new round going. But these are the most beautiful tomatoes. Super prolific plant, perfect for a container. I'm going to plant a new round of Tiny Tims in one of my 10-gallon Cali Kim orange smart pots. I love the color of the smart pot. It's going to look really nice with the tomatoes. And I love planting them in a 10-gallon. They'll also fit well in a 5-gallon. But in a 10-gallon, you can put three or four plants in. Nice and compact. Perfect for a container. And these seeds, believe it or not, were started just two weeks ago. They grow so fast when the temperatures are warm. So I'm going to put three plants in here. Again, pre-moistened soil, organic granular fertilizer, a fresh round of a uh, fresh few inches of organic potting mix. So they already have all the nutrients they need. I think I threw some worm castings in here as well. Just pop them in the hole right by the drip. I think we'll get one more little seedling in here. And I think to start tomato seeds work, works best in these little six packs. They just get off to a quicker start that way. And these go from seed to harvest in about 60 days. So pretty soon we'll have a fresh new round of tomatoes. Number five, basil. What are tomatoes without some basil? So here I'm gonna pop in basil right next to my tiny Tims. Again, little transplants I started just a couple of weeks ago. They're still just a little bit on the small side, but we're gonna go for it, pop them in here with our tiny Tims. That way we can harvest tomatoes and basil at the end of the summer. Oh my gosh, I can taste it now. One of my favorite, favorite summer herbs. Pop some here in the middle, and you can also plant seeds directly in your garden bed or containers. Italian large leaf basil is in my late summer garden seed collection. It's just so easy to plant these veggies, you guys. You really can't go wrong. Get some seeds in here, sprinkle them right along the drip hose. So I have basil coming up at different times. Crop number six is beans. Now we planted these beans a couple of months ago. We've been harvesting a ton off of them, but they're gonna be coming to an end probably in about a month. So we've got some new transplants. We're gonna pop in here in little five gallon Cali Kim Smart Pots. These you can also plant from seed. They grow very, very quickly this time of the year. But the transplants are ready to roll and will give us a little bit of a head start. Now these are the dwarf Taylor beans. Again, from my late summer garden seed collection. Two weeks of growth here, guys. Super, super fast growing veggies. And I always love seeing the roots when you pull them out of the little six pack. It's just so much fun to watch these babies grow. Beans are a great one to plant with kids because they grow so fast. The kids absolutely love to see them grow. So I'm gonna put, again, about three little transplants here in my Cali Kim five gallon smart pots. And you can grab all the smart pots, the five gallons, the 10 gallons, and the little shorty over at calikimgardenhome.com. The 15 gallon tan you can grab over at smartpots.com. It's gonna be so fun to have a fresh new crop of beans in probably about six weeks or so. And these are a beautiful kind of purple speckled bean. Absolutely love them. Crop number seven, I actually have a bonus for you. It's actually not a crop, but it's a flower. You definitely don't want to forget the pollinators here in the late summer because you want to keep them coming in all through August and September. So two easy to grow flowers in the warm weather are zinnias 
and sunflowers. You can see the big, huge, tall 15 foot sunflower behind me, but they are great cut flowers and the pollinators love them. The cool thing about zinnias is, is you can plant them all summer long and you can prune them to encourage a lot more blooming. So what you wanna do is just cut it off here where the stems kind of branch out or the leaves kind of branch out, bring them into your house for cut flowers and you will be amazed at how many more buds develop. Now the sunflowers are absolutely going crazy behind me here. Cut them off when they either to deadhead them or bring them into the house to create a lot more blooms. Now here in the summer when it's really hot, it's important that you get, give your plants plenty of water, especially when they're freshly planted. Pull out my hose link, retractable hose here, give them a nice drink and a nice little good feeding so they get off to a really good start. I'm gonna feed my freshly planted transplants with some Vermistera Vitality. It really gets them off to a good start with all that healthy bacteria, beneficial and the microbes. And then I'm also gonna give them some uh, fish fertilizer. It's got lots of ni good nitrogen in here for green leafy growth. So my plants grow really fast. I'm gonna soak them down here. Really give them a nice soil drench. I do like to cover my containers or my newly planted transplants with a piece of shade cloth for a couple of days, just till they get established to help them really avoid transplant shock. Next thing here is just to mulch around the plants kind of lightly on the mulch here. This is shredded leaves, some pine needles in here. You can also use shredded straw. And we'll add more mulch as the plants grow. Don't want to go too heavy though, because I've got some seeds in here that I want to germinate. If you grow too, too heavy, it might take them a little bit longer. But you definitely need to protect the top of the soil. Helps with water evaporation. and keeps the plants from drying out. What I want you to do this week is to get your seeds planted for your late summer garden. Grab one of my late summer garden seed collections, sunflower collection, or a heat tolerant green seed collection, and you'll be good to go for harvest in the late summer and into the fall. Now, make sure you use the code MAC for a 25% discount on all your seeds this weekend, fabric containers, and signed copies of my books. And the cool thing is, you're gonna get a free bean seed with your purchase and our very cute sticker of our favorite garden dog map. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.